Well, it's Wednesday morning, a little after 10. A little overcast, got a little breeze. As you can see, almost all the snow is gone. There's a little bit lingering around in the corners. But, you know, you can't even, you have to hunt for it to find it. I guess we're going somewhere this afternoon when the tide gets off a little bit. Must be some, I think the tide's low at 523. Uh, stand by for that. Jack says he's ready to go. I'm not sure if we're going on the bay or go back to the land of Nala. One carnivore is hungry. <laughs> it's unusual about that, right? No snow in the backyard. I got to give the birds some food. It got rain on their food. I'm going to share something with you today. I don't know why I didn't share it with you before, but I didn't happen to think about it until I was looking at some of his pictures today. We have a local fellow here. I don't know him. He's a big fisherman. But he fishes out of a... You may know him. He's kind of famous. Uh, some of y'all may know him. His name is uh, Brian. And he posts on this forum right here, the Bass Barn. And he posts on the Chesapeake Bay side of it. And you can see some of his posts. You need to take a look at this forum. If you like fishing, if you like birds, uh, whales, seals, wildlife. He fishes out of a jet ski, like I said. He goes out and he, sometimes he'll go 20 and 30 miles out in the ocean in this jet ski. And he has another buddy. There's two or three of these guys around here fish out of jet skis. But he's got it all rigged up with all kinds of equipment and specialized racks for his reels and coolers. And he's a fascinating guy, the way he's got all that stuff set up. Anyway, I'm going to attach a few pictures that he just put up on his forum today. And if you're interested in, you know, fishing, like I said, birds and eagles and whales and everything he, he's got some really really nice pictures when he's not fishing he carries his fancy camera with him and he takes pictures of the surrounding creatures or boats or i mean eagles it's unbelievable he lives about 20 he lives about 30 miles west northwest of the cave up on the other side of the bay uh i don't know the name of the exact section where he lives in but if you took a a straight shot from the jet ski from the cave, you could almost run right up into his house if you kind of went northwest. Jet ski Brian. You'll get a kick out of it. He's a hell of a guy to do what he does in a jet ski. I think. Stand by. You'll have something interesting to look at this morning before we go detecting. See you later. Good luck to you. What do you want? <laughs> A hungry carnivore. <laughs>